Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmless. This is video 12, and today we're talking about the LFO. So let's load up a default patch as usual, and let's bring our cutoff a little bit up here and alt-click this uh, mountain up here. So our LFO is located on the bottom right of the synth, and we just have one, but it does a lot of cool things. So keep in mind that, that this LFO can modulate the harmonic mask, the pitch, the filter cutoff, the phaser width, the phaser offset, and the harmonizer amount. So really anywhere you see this little LFO button in different places down here and so on and so forth, that can be controlled with this main LFO here. So the easiest way to really demonstrate this is using pitch so we can actually see what the shapes are and listen at the same time. So we'll have this LFO going 100% on the pitch here. And let's bring this down just a little bit so we don't hurt our ears. So let's look at this first sine wave and I'll speed it up so it's a little bit faster. So we can see that the uh, shape is a sine wave. And moving on here, we have smooth saw. And then moving on from that, we have a smooth pulse, which is kind of basically just like a square wave. It just has a little ramp, it's kind of fade in and fade out, so it's not so on off, so binary. And moving on, we have a saw. Then we have a pulse, or a square one zero kind of thing. Next up, we have stairs. Now we have triangle. Now we have sickle, which is basically just like a saw wave. It just has a little concave curve right here. Then we get multi-sign. It's very cool. And then we're, now we're going to dive into the special ones. But right before we get into these, these two little knobs here we need to talk about. So this ATT, if we do this at sign here, this is going to be the attack time for the LFO to reach its full maximum value. So if it's off, it's basically instant. It's already doing its thing. But if we make a really, really slow attack. So now it's reached its full value. So this time here is determined by the uh, ATT knob right here. Now this global button, so if it's on, basically the LFO is just going to be running the whole time and wherever you catch it, it's going to hit. If you take it off, it's going to restart every single time. So if it's on global, I can hit these notes individually, but you see the shape is still going and it's, the shape itself isn't really interrupted. But if I take it off of global, it won't complete a cycle until I actually hold down the note. So that's the main difference of that. So moving on to these different special ones here. So with this filter envelope here, now this filter envelope uh, selection here will now be controlled over here in the uh, filter envelope. So if we have the attack maybe kind of 50% here, it's going very slow. Now the decay is kind of 50%, so if we drag that down, so basically these two are really going to be the control of your uh, of your LFO. And not to mention, you have also these other knobs down here that you can also further edit these ones here. So it kind of gets kind of in depth with this uh, setting there. So we have these back to default here, and let's move on to the filter frequency. So this one's kind of interesting. It's basically this fil this frequency knob is controlling the uh, the LFO's frequency. So as I move this cutoff, it also changes the pitch that we have mapped here. So basically this knob here is now controlling also the cutoff as it normally does, but the pitch at the same time. It's a very strange function. And it's very obvious in the EQ here. Obviously that's a very drastic effect, but yeah, hopefully that makes sense seeing that. And next up, we have this voice random. And this one is kind of interesting too. The LFO changes randomly with each new note played. So with this LFO on the pitch, we're going to get a random pitch every single time. Even though we're hitting the same note. So who knows what you can make up with that one. Very interesting. So moving on to that is going to be the velocity. So for this one, the velocity is also going to change the note on. So for this exact example, I made a little playlist or a little thing in the piano row here with three different velocities attached to the pitch. So that way we can have the velocity controlling the LFO, which is 
very interesting too as well. And then the last one we have here is pitch. So basically the LFO speed becomes an offset when this is chosen. <laughs> So controlling the speed here is changing the pitch that we have mapped over here. We can also change it here on this LFO as well. So it's very special. And that's the LFO in a nutshell. It's, it is limited in the sense that it's one, but there's a lot of parameters you can control. And sometimes just having one opens up your creativity a little bit more with having a little bit of restrictions. But then again, then again you have this drop down with all these cool different features here. So keep that in mind and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.